Alright, so how's it going on everyone? Welcome back to Outlast! Oh my god, the new DLC Whistleblower is finally here. Uh, actually, I've never even heard of Whistleblower ever before, but apparently a lot of you were telling me to play it. Like, a lot of you were telling me to play Whistleblower, uh, the DLC. So finally, here it is. Apparently, it looks really, really good. Awesome. Here we go. Whistleblower. New game. Uh, normal, hard, nightmare, insane. I heard that if you if you play on insane, it'll like if you die once, then it'll like restart the entire game. So I'm not gonna play on insane. I'm gonna play on nightmare just to see how freaking awesome I am. <laughs> so let's just see. Let's just see how cool uh, it'll be. So basically, whistleblower. What it is, is you're not playing as the same character as uh, Miller's. Um, apparently, you're playing as the person who first was in the game. Like I, it's hard to explain. Like th this storyline of whistleblower is how. The facility got to where it was and i guess well, what else um it was how it got to what it was and after what happened you know after when miller died and uh spoiler when you know he turned into the uh wall rider so it's pretty cool pretty cool you know you, you like you first figure out what the hell happened how the hell this is Sam got like freaking crazy I, I, obviously you know when you're miller in the first one uh you do know what happens because you know it just kind of tells you the experiments of people going freaking insane uh but uh it just kind of shows you what's going on I, I don't know what to say <laughs> it kind of shows you what's going on and then it shows you after what's happening so yeah and also the guy that you play as mentioned or he was talking to Miller he was saying like oh yeah you should investigate what's going on so yeah I'm pretty excited I'm pretty excited what the hell's gonna happen so <laughs> that's all that's all I know that's really all they uh they all they said in whistleblower and what why is it called whistleblower I I don't know up but open your eyes what's the matter somebody hit you here let me help Ew! Uh, Andrew, you getting these alerts kind of busy oh. here it sounds like real trouble at the engine they said hope made a lateral ascension we hope they're not happy about it? No. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Come on. Fucking uh, weirdo. Uh, 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 uh. Two hours earlier. That was freaking... What the hell? I thought they were sane. You don't know me. I have to make this quick. This might my mind. I did two weeks out of summer because I am working off uh, psychiatric systems, facilities, and my own massive asylum. All sorts of been breaking up. Now, seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things have happened. Blah blah. I don't know who. Oh god. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. So yeah, that's who he was putting, talking to. Ah, I see. Because in the beginning of Outlast, you get this message. People are being hurt and it needs to be exposed. It needs to be exposed. Left mouse button to send the email to... Oh. Send, send, send! <laughs> and that's where... That's where, uh, I guess... What's the face's name? Miller? I forgot, I forgot the, our main character's name from the last one. His name is Miller. I know his last name is Miller. Mark. They've paged for you three times already. There's something urgent at the engine. All right. What are you doing in here anyway? Just uh, I thought you were just a software guy. Exactly. That's not, um, <laughs> software against the I don't know those things over there. <laughs> what is this? So this is the beginning of. I get... I'm trying to think because it said two hours earlier. So is this the beginning? Why weren't you answering the page? Sorry, just doing something. I was just ooh. I like that casual clothes I have. Everyone else is wearing something. Did where we go? Oh, just go over here. 
That sounds all right. I didn't think I'd miss her this much. Just the patient. Start to realize they haven't. Christ, Waylon, hurry up. They're waiting on you. Sorry. Huh? Ah, oh, fuck. They're cutting it close. Next patient's incoming, and arterial spin's still dark. We need you at the front terminal. Got Galuskin out of his cell. Page him again. We need this park guy in here now. Tell him he's got 15 seconds to keep his job. <laughs> Christ. I guess we left us with the Park. Finally. Where have you been? I was right there in front of him. in faces and talking to the ASL. We got a patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head. I can call into the chamber, ask them to delay. No. I don't need another performance evaluation. Mr. Park here is going to have us up and running before we even know it. Right, Mr. Park? Yeah, sure. Uh... Are we happy, Mr. Park? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. FMRI is still dark. You're doubting our friend, Mr. Wayland Park? Which I consider more than unkind to his programming skill and considerable dedication to the Murkoff Corporation. <laughs> Fuck me, they're bringing him in. Is that Billy? Give me Billy. <laughs> Rape. Oh my god. Help me! Don't let them do this! Don't let them! You! I know you can stop this! You have to help me! You have to! Hey! Calm yourself! This is a high security. It's alright, Agent. Mr. Park was just surprised. I'm sure he's still calm and eager to finish his work. Take your seat. Quickly, Mr. Park. It will need to roll if the fusion monitoring is not active when we put him in the engine. Five seconds. Four. Three. Arterial spin labeling is back online. Good thing. It has to be built. No, that's Eddie. Oh, never mind. So this is. You're finished, Mr. Wayland Park. You can leave. Don't expect anything but honesty. Oh, what the hell was happening to his face? You saw that? Yeah, look at his face. It's getting, like, screwed up, sort of. You're done here, Mr. Park. Thank you, and goodbye. <laughs> Your face is weird. All these people's faces are kind of, like, scary. So I, I guess I'll just leave. I don't know what the hell I did, but apparently... That's what I'm doing! Jesus Christ! Like, what the hell happened to all of you? Apparently, because, like... Well, when I was Miller, there was like no dead bodies. There was only like a few dead bodies. No, there wasn't. It was like blood. And that was it. Probably all got like eaten or something. Get the freaking hell out of here! Is... I can't go back to my lab. No, I want to get my laptop. No, fine. Oh wait, that was okay. Then. <laughs> I don't even know where the hell I'm going. But uh. Oh no, this is where they're. Oh no, don't tell me. Somebody's been telling stories yep. outside of class. On the floor! Down! Hands where I can see them! Yeah, that's not Wayland good. Park. Consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level 3 security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a space is wiggle. Somehow dumb enough oh, thank you. to think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than stupid. In fact, that was crazy. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? Did you hear that, uh, Agent? He said yes, Mr. Blair. Great. I didn't say anything. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> Did I just hear Mr. Wayland Park volunteer for the Morphogenic Engine program? Well, that's what I heard, Mr. Blair. That was brave indeed, Waylon. The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light anesthetic. Gladly. Just so you know, you're a freaking douche. All of you are. Is everyone in the world a douche, like in this game, or or is it just, is it just me? I I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I just feel I just feel like you know, every single one of them, just 
kind of hates you. You know, just, just a little bit. Look, just, like it's either someone wants to kill you, someone wants to rape you, or they're just being a douche. The only person in the actual game that wasn't a douche to you was uh, the the what was his name? Um, the fa uh, father, Father Martin. Father Martin, he wasn't even a douchey, man. He was super nice, man. He was like the only person you could trust, and he kills himself. And I'm just like, well, okay. starts and I get a camera Oof. get that camera get the camera get the camera get it go 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 get it get it get it oh. yeah everyone's dead and I have my notes again well how do I use my notes again it was like V or F no it was uh M N if I die I fucked up. Oh god, where am I? Hours could have passed or weeks. Brain fill brain filled with static. They made me or they made we watch this? They made we watch this. The engine. Have to get help. Have to call for help. Lisa, I'm sorry. If I die, I know you'll find me. I know you <laughs> I don't uh, I know you always uh rest until you find my body and help you find this camera. With my corpse, I hope the events of it doesn't or does what I couldn't expose the truth. Lisa's baby, I'm sorry, I fucked up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up bad. I'm good. Why are you? Oh, what, oh, what the hell just happened? Oh. Oh, thank you. So wait, am I one of you now? <laughs> Holy cow. All right. Okay, yeah. Let me just turn that off. Let me, um, I can't, because sometimes you can't really understand what the hell they're saying, because they're freaking retarded. Uh, so let me show subtitles. South Paul, what the hell is South Paul? Total crap. Okay, alright, apply. I said, what'd you say? I'm sorry, did you repeat that? I know that I'm one of you now, so I'm guessing you guys, you guys won't hurt me, right? I. Right. I'm not too sure. Oh, is that Jesus Christ. Some batteries, batteries are used for infrared lights, yes, I know. Right, so I'm guessing the wall rider has escaped and so that must be that's what we that must be how everything happened. Okay, open that up. To get out of here, I have no idea. This is what I do the original, unless obviously. 
horror peeping town. Come to join our therapy session. Here, take the blade. Dig around in our friend here. Get a little red on your hands. It's always healthy to express yourself. You keep it bottled up too long and you might do something you regret. Like stabbing someone? No. You're one of those. Too good for the likes of us. So think you're different? Something special? There are no observers here. Now, get the f out of here before I change my mind. Okay. I... Okay. <laughs> this is really, really awesome. I love I love the, the first time last night the DLC came out. I don't know how long this DLC is. <laughs> Freaking screw you, man! Freaking screw off! Holy cow! Oh my god! Oh, here's the hell! Oh. He just punched me and I died? What? Oh, that's right. I put on a nightmare. Mm. <laughs> that's not realistic. Holy cow, my guy's like a freaking stick. Okay, I got this, I got this. Alright, so, do I just... How do I do that then? Alright, I got this. Okay, 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 okay. Close, close, close. Okay, which way, which way, which way? Uh, let's go. Oh god, oh god. Close that door, go through, I guess, uh, is this good? Look up. That sounds like the wall rider. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> the fact that the wall rider is just walking around, I can't. Bad idea. We get out of here through reception and then Merc Tactical clean it up. If they get here in time, we need help now. If we get them on the radio, the National Guard could be here within. We don't even know if the radio works. It's shortwave. If the prison's got electricity, they've got signal, and the lights are on. Murkoff has none in control. Yeah, I noticed. I doubt. We need to get to that radio. Outside help doesn't come without outside attention. You want responsibility for every legally shaky thing you did on the Murkoff company payroll? Mm -hmm. I know I don't. It's too late to worry about that. This just has to stop. You're scared. You're not tight. Let me make something clear. You try to radio outside for help. I'm gonna give you a whole new subgroup to be scared of. Are you threatening me? Yes. See, everyone is a douche. Why? Why? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> radio in the prison. There's a radio in the prison. Yeah. Shirt wave. If it's electronic, I can make it talk. Make it work for me. There's hope, Lisa. I'm coming home to you. My mistake was, uh, was is Lisa my girlfriend? I, or is she my wife? Like you always said, I always thought leaking information is just a few journalism of a safer way. I didn't want it to be. I didn't want the spotlight of attention. Murkoff is dangerous, and I know that. I thought I had to be so, uh, subtle for your sake, Lisa, for the boys. But I should have exposed what Murkoff is doing to the world. I should have shouted to anyone and everyone. I can't die. Not before I reach the radio. They can't cover this up now. It's too broken. Too dangerous. All right. I see. I see. I see. So. This is how it all started. Uh, I'm not exactly too sure how it really, really started. Like, I don't know, probably uh, Billy was the first successful wall rider and killed everyone. That's my biggest guess. Is it, am I, I have my feet here. Oh yeah, I'm almost naked. Is there anything right here? No. Hello, anybody? And it, it's kind of funny because, like, I know that all the, I don't know how many, like, crazy people there are. But there were, if you looked, there were a lot of guards, and they had guns and stuff. How, how the hell did they like not contain this? Unless there was like freaking a ton of, of these crazy people, which I bet there were. Uh, okay. I'm about to run out of batteries already. <gasps> okay. You need help, man? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. 
It's like <laughs> the one thing about this game is that everyone is just insane. I really love that. Is it? Okay. The fact that the wall rider is already in the beginning is kind of scary. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. I guess so. Right. Oh, that's not a good idea. Oh, let's go this way. Please, I'm a doctor. I need to get hold of my. You're not security. I was. I'm a patient like you. Stole these clothes from a dead body I found. Sure. You gotta get me out of here, please. Just push the button. Open the door. We can get out of here together. <laughs> It's gonna murder you, isn't it? It's gonna freaking murder the hell out of you. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Oh, that's not good. How'd I know? Something. I knew something bad was gonna happen. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have laughed at that, but that was. <laughs> Just when you open the door, you just see a guy right there. You're just like, oh, wow. Okay. The doctors are sick. I'd never seen a man die before today. Never seen a dead body outside of a coffin. Dozens today. Murders and worse. I've looked into one man's eyes as another tore him to pieces. Claimed he was a doctor. And it's all the rags they've dressed me in and changed his story. He said that, or yeah, he said he was a patient. Could have been either they're all crazy, all sick. No real difference between them now. The therapy is spreading. The therapy is spreading. And what am I? I? I watched this man die and only thought, it's not me, thank God. I know I'll die someday. I don't want to be murdered. That's pretty deep. I don't want to die either. I'm good. I don't want to be murdered. <laughs> Look at that guy right there. Oh, God. Whoa. What? What? Huh? What? How? No! He is going to murder me! How is the wall rider? Oh no. Oh. Oh no! Oh no! No, no, look out! <sighs> okay, so the wall rider is already in the beginning. Alright, that, that was kind of stupid of me. I, I, knew, I knew the wall rider was going to find me. Okay. Alright. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Screw you, buddy! I'm out of here. Uh, this way. Oh, sh oh, sh okay. Right, that's good. Another one. What's coming? Wait, I can't. Wait. Uh, I'll go this way. Whole bunch of dead bodies. Is there any batteries, guys? I would like to have some batteries. Uh, what's this? No, that's nothing. Uh, oh, thank you. Jay for General Sus, right? Uh, Mr. Grant, the Murkoff Corporation. Yes, I want to say you've been to receive requests for the information of the Mr. Lisa Park. Mr. Oh, Mr. Le what? Okay, Lisa Park, I believe, said, question. Incoming week concerning the reservation and hospitalization of her husband, Waylon. So, my name is Waylon. If so, please forward them to my personal attention, Waylon Park. Former consulting contract A208 registered due to previous and uh, diagnosed mental illnesses. I personally visited Mr. Uh, Mrs. Lisa Park and her sons and broke the news to them. With the silver lining, the Merkel the psychiatric would have graciously provided treatment. Mr. Park has some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Merkel Corporation. I assure her that her power of attorney, she could try to fight. The doctors and diagnose her husband's illness. Oh, so they lied. Okay. We started with the United States code. Hopefully she'll understand if she insists on making a nuisance of herself and tries to get around. Please let me know. This is the only way I want to take care of personally. Here's Jeremy Blair. So that might have been the guy who else who like kicked me or something. Or who found out. I I don't know. So this is the exit, right? Can I just leave? Of course not because it's locked. I can't I can't just you know like Take a dead body and like smash the window. Oh, I guess it's not there. that's fine. Okay. <laughs> I guess I <laughs> can't get anywhere else. 
There's no other way but to continue on. Okay, that's fine. Can I go through this? Wait, so which way do I go then? Uh, over here. No, apparently not. Okay. Um, probably... Th is there any batteries? Yes, there is. Sweet. Thank you. I seriously need more batteries. Okay, so jump up here then. Huh? I'm just hearing people just die. I can't... Why can't I get up there? Oh my goodness. Okay. Someone's dying. I just want to look. Wait, let me see. No? Hello? It's awfully quiet now. Now that everything's settled down. Oh my god. Oh, he's not good. Is that father? That's right, what happened to father? Was he was he in his experiments? Or was he just like... Okay, that's disgusting. There's a policeman. It's amazing how they decided to like eat people right right when the event happened. That's kind of disgusting. <laughs> that is really disgusting actually. Cannibalism is not a good thing, man. If only I can see your face. I can't. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Oh, right here. That is. I feel like you're gonna be a person that you're gonna be the next Chris Walker, aren't you? Oh, yep, I knew it. Oh, that was a microwave. God, oh, that's pretty disgusting. I love him. <laughs> okay. The cannibal's kitchen. Don't ask to see my body, Lisa, when I die. When you finish the lawsuits that let you pry this footage from Murkoff's army of lawyers and cor uh, corporate hitmen, don't make them show you my body. Just bury it or burn it. Let my sons remember me whole. That man is eating human flesh. He looks at me, and I see anger, a little desire, but more than anything ang or hungry. <laughs> Please don't make them show you my body. <laughs> Oh god. What is that? Oh, how the hell did you eat that hole? Okay, I'm not gonna watch that. <laughs> Alright. I'm good, I'm good. That is disgusting. I feel like I have to end it right here because this has been going on for a really, really long time. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I I don't know. Wait, wait is, how many? It's been 31 freaking minutes. Holy cow. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye.